Good afternoon, everyone. As wildfires out west make the news, how the media conveniently forgot to tell you about snow in the middle of July in some of these exact locations. Wyoming, snow in late July. Rocky Mountains cold front snowed through the end of July. The temperature map, record cold temperatures. To mid-August, record cold temperatures across most of the United States. Deep snows through Montana. Didn't see that in the news, did you? Nor did the media cover the record cold temperatures in the South United States and Louisiana and Texas. I surely didn't see any of the record cold temperatures across the Southeast United States on any of the evening news. Let's take a look at some other forgotten snows in the middle of July and the middle of August throughout the United States. The middle of July, the United States was slammed with cold weather breaking record cold temperatures for the middle of the summer. As you can see, all of these areas from Nebraska to Oklahoma, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, Florida, Tennessee, Charlotte, North Carolina. Didn't hear a word about this in the news, but again, there were unusual snows in Wyoming in the middle of July. Unusual cold front streaking down from Canada, bringing snow what the conditions were on the ground in Wyoming. And July is an extremely warm month, but when you have this many record cold temperatures in all areas of the United States, from Oregon, down into Nebraska, Rapid City, Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, it was pretty much a nationwide event, but it did not get nationwide coverage in July. Now what happened again in August, in the middle of August, the hottest month of the year in the United States, hands down. Record cold temperatures, Colorado, Montana, South Dakota, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. This is what the temperature map looked like on the 22nd of August. That deep purple is below freezing. And these are the noontime temperatures, and you can still see how cold it is across the western United States. Area I circled in yellow is where the snow was dropping. Denver, Colorado setting record cold, 47 degrees in the middle of August. Here's some pictures of the Montana snows for you. Average boulder weather again, August, breaking the low temperature there. Those are open range farm fields, that, that's grass, that's snow in August. Pueblo, Colorado, low temperature set, snows across the hills, Yellowstone below zero, Cheyenne freezing, more records going back into the early 1920s, morning lows at 28 degrees Fahrenheit, Montana, August 21st, snow dropping, Thomas Mangan says earliest snows I've ever photographed. That snow is deep. That's not just flurries. Look how deep it is in the accumulation. Now during the same time, when you're looking at Portland, Oregon, dropped from 91 degrees down to 74, and just different areas across the country. Billings, Montana, same drop steep. Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, same drop steep. National Weather Service reporting Little Rock, Arkansas, record cold. Oklahoma, record cold. Look at all these locations, record cold, new records set. Shreveport, Louisiana, that's really, really far south. Arkansas, Texas in the mix there. And during this time, Ward County, North Dakota, talking about the heads of the wheat are empty. Empty-headed wheat, so 60 bushels turned out only to 20 bushels of wheat because 40 of those bushels were just literally empty. Something I'll bring your attention to here, AccuWeather, take a look at their map for the same time on August 22nd. If you do compare it to the NOAA map, look at the difference. How is that possible that that's record cold temperature map? It looks like the entire United States is on fire. It's covered with lava. That is entirely misleading temperature map. That's disgusting that they would put this out as an actual cold weather anomaly temperature map. When you look at that, if you didn't actually take the time you would just think it was record heat everywhere. When in actuality, when we take a look at the NOAA map, it's record cold. That's the way it should look. And with these anomalous cold events and snows throughout July and August, 
You can see the forecast decrease in the solar activity. We are coming into the new solar minimum. It's just a cycle. We'll start getting out of the dense cold probably around 2030. But until that time, it's going to be a wild ride with our weather. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw and heard, make sure to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030.